Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to a very misty morning in uh, East Texas. This is like the third or fourth one in a row, and the rain's getting kind of old. But today, we're going to do an experiment. We're going to do an experiment kind of to replicate what Greg Judy did on his channel with his cockle burr field, how he ran his big mob of cattle through it in very small, tight sections to be able to knock it down and really just be able to get rid of all the cockle burrs there. Here in East Texas, we don't have the cockle burr problem here. We have goat weed or woolly crotton, whatever you want to call it. This stuff. This stuff right here. And this section right here is just full of it. There's a little bit of a, a ravine right here that it's kind of hard to get to. So I can't get the mower down there and mow it. So what we're doing today is we fenced off a little section. It goes from there to that fence post right there, then across to that fence post right there, and then back, this little square. It's about 36 by about 45, 50-ish right here. So it's just a really small section. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our herd of uh, 13 cows into it to see, you know, there's some stuff they can eat in here like that right there. But there's not much, I'm not expecting them to eat a lot of it. I, what I am expecting them to do is trample a ton of it so I don't have to get in here by hand and be able to go and get it all out because you just can't get the mower in here and I'm not gonna spray. So we're gonna see how it goes, they're ready. We do not nearly have the horsepower, or in this case, cow power, that uh, Greg Judy does. He's got like 300 and something head. We have 13, but we have a much smaller section. So we're gonna see how this experiment goes. If they can knock it down, that'd be great. I know, Betty, you're running to move. So we're not gonna leave them in here very long. We're gonna be in here maybe 15 to 30 minutes tops. And then we're gonna move them out to the regular pasture. But right now, we really need them to do something in here and see what they, uh, see what they can trample. All right, girls, you ready? Let's wind this up and uh, we'll get you moved. All right, girls, go to work for me, okay? Easy, 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 easy. I gotta just bring this back a little bit, okay? Go ahead, go ahead, go through. You know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let's get them all in here. Come on, go ahead, go ahead. There we go, they're like, what is this? You always give us fresh grass, none of this crap. Let's see, go ahead, go ahead, come on. Come on, go ahead, go through. Jordan, you gotta follow him, all right, buddy? Go ahead, they're like, hey, you usually give us a bigger space to go through. No, not today, did you do some work for me? See, they were in here, and you can see, they did some work over here in this part of the ravine down down a little bit more and hopefully they can do a little bit more over in that section because it's pretty bad it's not good here either but this gave me the idea come on girls go ahead come on tiger go join up come on guys go ahead go ahead come on go ahead come on there we go, look, they actually cleared a lot of this. I was not able to walk through here at all. At all, at all, really. So, look at this. They're doing a good job, and Tiger always poops when I'm around. It's so funny. Go ahead. Keep going. Come on, Tiger. Come on, Tiger. All right, do your business. There we go. There we go. Come on, buds. All right, come on. Come on. There you go, move back. We're gonna see what they can do. Hopefully it's a lot. This is quite a bit of meat here on uh, this portion. About, we'll say a little under 10,000 pounds on this little section, so they should leave a pretty good impact. There you go, look, they just walk and they trample. Come on. It's okay. Come on, Scarlet. Go ahead. Strawberry, you gotta catch up. There we go. See? There you go. Trample all that from me, girls. And boys now. Uh oh. I think Scarlet walked over the wire. Okay, she got out of it. Good. Sheep didn't, though. 
shoot. Come on, sheep. Look at this. They're able to make a trail for me already. Here you go. Come on, strawberry. Come on, strawberry. Come on. Go with your friends. I know you want to get there. We want the same thing. Go ahead, girl. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Now let's hook this thing back up and uh, keep them in here for... They're only going to be in here for half an hour. Look how tight they're in here. Let's see. Let's see what they can do. They're over there making little trails already. Hi, Yoli. I know you're not very happy with me. I'm sorry. But, you know what? You guys are going to get that whole paddock going up that way. Just in a little bit. They're like sitting around like, hey, um, there's not really nothing to eat here. Well, I just want you to walk around. That's all I want you to do. Go ahead, walk around, and uh, trample, trample, trample. We're still picking on Jordan a little bit. Jordan and Rose got into it yesterday, because I think Rose is in heat, but she was having none of it yet. So while they're in there, I'm gonna go get their water set up for the day because they're gonna use, they're gonna stay in this paddock here. They're gonna have access to it, but they're just gonna have access to a lot more grass down that way. So gonna time it. Timer starts now. See what they do. So we're approximately at the 10 minute mark, and uh, there's a whole lot of standing around. Some nibbling and chewing because that stuff, I don't know, that's rose bush or whatever, that's edible to them. But the new herd over there has mainly done just a lot of standing around because. Uh, they're like, um, this is not normal. We're usually fed uh, fresh green grass on a silver platter every day. What is this? Well, this is to help your pasture grow back even better. Guys, if we can get rid of this, this means more grass. More grass means more grass for the cows to eat and more weight for you guys to put on. The happier you'll be, okay? So, deal with me for a little bit. They're starting to go after uh, like the little sprouts of the trees here in the ravine. There's not much uh, going on because they're like, um, we're ready to move again. You gave us uh, garbage. You, you're making us uh, do work for food? No, we just want to move and eat. That's what we're used to. Okay, Betty, good. Move them around. So we'll see. I'm going to get their water going and uh, come back here in just a couple minutes. So we're about at the halfway point now. And as you can see, they're doing a pretty decent job, especially right over there. There's places that are starting to clear up because that was all just goat weed. Here, the ravine, you can probably kind of like walk through now. That was all grown up, but there's been a lot of standing around. Betty and Yoli are over there looking at me like, what is this? Like, waiter, um, we ordered a fresh green salad, but you gave us a bunch of crap. So, we're figuring it out. Jordan, Jordan doesn't seem to mind too much. The other cows are just like, what is this? Dolly and sheep over here working on this rose bush a little bit. They'll eat that down because that's somewhat edible to them. These guys are just like, um, yeah, ooh, someone got shocked. I think it shocked all three of them because they're touching. Eesh. Don't get too close to the wire. So it's not perfect by any means, but I think this is working. This is better. This is making my life easier when I have to go in here and clear this out because there's just nothing growing underneath it, like especially over there on when it goes up the hill. It's just, it's just dirt. It's just dirt, and that's just not good. That that is not getting the most out of the land because they're just not going to eat it. Goat weed, this stuff right here. This is just, this is just inedible to the cows. I think actually, if they try and eat it, it's actually a little bit poisonous or something like that. They're not going to. That's why they're not going to eat it. They're just going to go trample it and look all mad around it. But they won't eat it. Hi, cows. You're not going to eat that? No, I know. I'm sorry. All right, we'll be back in uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So we're about 25 minutes in now, and uh, I think the cows are over it. I don't think Tiger's moved at all in the last, you know, <laughs> seven, eight minutes. Because he's just like, you know what? I'm Tiger, and I will eat what I want to eat. I will move when I want to move. Um, give me fresh grass now. These ones are starting to pick at the rose bush, which is good. But I think I'm gonna let them out now. I think I'm gonna let them out, and when I mean let them out, I'm just gonna take down that wire. They're gonna have the rest of that paddock with great grass, especially right over there. So, let's do it. All right, girls, the wire's down. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows, come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Don't think they know it's down. Come on, cows. 
Come on, cow cows. Now they're gonna know. They're like, hey, you guys are letting us out. Thank you. Come on, cows. Look, look at this. Now they're gonna run. Now they're happy. Look, see this? They're like, yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what I wanted. Yep, that's what I wanted. None of that stuff right there. But you're helping yourself in the long run. Why? Because nothing's growing underneath it. See, look at all that bare soil. It's not good. Now, they're going to go and eat over here. They're all happy. It's okay. Come on, cows. What I did do is I left their water and mineral over there to where they have to keep walking back to get it to where there's more trampoline. Because they're going to be in here for at least a day trying to still figure out how much to feed them. But they're good. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Okay, easy. Don't, don't pass Betty like that. She gets mad. <laughs> Huh, Betty? There you go, Jordan. There you go. Come on, cows. It's okay. It's all done. Experiment's over. Good job. Now, was it a good job? They did a decent job. I would say they did a decent job. A lot of this is uh, broken. A lot of the stems are broken, which is good. It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's not there. It's not there. Come on, Dolly. It's not there. There you go. It's not there. She goes, I don't trust you. You put us in this for a little bit. Come on. Come on, girls. It's okay. Now they're like, yep, we are out of here. We are out of here. Now they're going on nice fresh grass. They haven't been on. I just looked, and we got to speed up our rotations a little bit because they haven't been on this piece of grass here for 90 days. It's been 90 days since they've been back here. But... We're actually gonna we're not gonna speed it up just yet because we have winter coming and we want them to uh, graze it You know, we want to stockpile the rest of the grass so we don't have to feed too much hay Hopefully any at all right now by my calculations We might not have to feed any but you see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here I got a specific tool yesterday actually two of them that uh, That's gonna really help me tackle the goat weed problem here without having to clip off the grass as well because like I said we're trying to stockpile the grass for winter so I just want to take the top of the goat weed off got a specific tool for that we'll probably make a video for that either tomorrow or the next day when the cows get out of here and I'll probably start in this section here to make it look a lot better and you know just for the grass to be able to regrow I actually think they did a lot better job than I thought because I wasn't even able to walk over here look at this they made a whole trail and everything a lot of it is a lot of it's gone down there in the ravine whatever you want to call it they uh, they actually made it to where it could be walkable for me I was not able to get down here didn't want to get down here because I didn't know what was down here and uh, good job cows good job so probably gonna go take out those trees they're gonna try and identify which ones they are when I get closer to them but we want trees coming up in the pasture that uh, that we want not the ones that I don't know what that is but we'll see what it is but they actually did a pretty decent job. A lot of this, you can see like the, the silverish, means it's that's the underside of the leaf. They actually did a pretty decent job here. A lot better than I originally thought. But now the cows are like, yep, we did our, we did our job. Now uh, we're gonna go eat our candy. This is pretty good grass here actually. It's not the best, because you can see a lot of soil, but especially down there, it's a lot better. So good job, ladies. So with that, I'm going to sign off here. I think this experiment was an overall, I would say, success. I'd give it a B-. minus. They made it to where I can get in there and walk and do my thing when I show you how I'm going to get rid of that in the next couple days. And they, made my and they made my job a lot easier. So working with the cows, will I do it again? Maybe, because uh, we got this section here on the hill that uh, I, might tie I might put them in pretty tight again depending on how easy that tool is uh, that I'm talking about to use. So Jordan, you want to sign off? Yeah, just moo. <laughs> Actually, he has a mood. Moo. Mood. Is it mood? I don't know. It's like M-O-O apostrophe D, not M-O-O-D. Mood. Bellowed? Probably bellowed. I'm going to get killed by all the English teachers out there. I was terrible at English anyways. I cheated my way through high school. So with that, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment if you like. Until next time, 